Okay, our topic for today is glass. Uh, glass is an item of luxury. The word glass is derived from the Latin term glassium, means a lustrous and transparent material. The transparent and colorization have made the glasses be suitable for decorative and illumination purposes in the early days. Generally, the glass is amorphous and is an amorphous material, and when it breaks, it breaks into many parts. We do not have control over the shape and the size of the pieces when the glass breaks. The definition of glass is an, this is an inorganic product of fusion, which has been cooled to a solid state condition without crystallizing. How do we cut the glass? No, in the Middle Ages, glass was cut with a heated and sharply pointed iron rod no? or the rod of iron. The diamond is also a material which can cut the glass. Nowadays, we use different methods to cut the glass. And there are several methods to cut the glass, and I will explain it later. later. As you can see in the, in the, in the figure, you know, there is what you call a bevel cut, you know, in which the, the, uh, the edge of the, the glass is, cut, uh, is uh, cut into an angle, like this one. This one is the southwestern cut, and this is the flat. These are the pencil cut, which is kind of rounded on the edge. This is kind of straight, you no. Know? And this one is the bull nose. And we have the waterfall, waterfall cut, you no, know? which has the layering of, of uh, uh, edge, you no. Know? We have the OG and the crack ice cut, you no. Know? So the wheel cutting, this method is a very low, this, this is a very low price method of cutting. This, this is the material, that's, this is the tool that we often see in, in, a, in a hardwares or depots. No? Uh, this is a tool uh, when the glass have a, this method is a use to cut the glass. You use a, a, a cutting wheel and then you uh, create a, a small cut on the glass and then you create a crack no there's quite what you call a lateral crack no and the crack will be the one that you will be uh, uh, using to separate those piece the two pieces no like this one the the crack uh, is about 90 percent depth no this one is the generation of the lateral crack for the conventional cutting wheel it's about 15 percent depth no the cut is only about 15 percent depth but you, what you do is you kindly tap this edge, and then you then you will have a what you call a you will have what you call a uh, method to separate these uh, two pieces. So we also have what you call the filament uh, cutting or the PS laser. Laser. So this is good for strengthened glass, no? Because there are glass that are called tempered, annealed, and, and some of the glass that have uh, specific quality that is a. Uh, uh, tempered, no? so this has this capability for free shape, medium edge strength. Uh, we also have a CO2 laser. This method offers high edge strength and clean cuts no? because of the laser that is being used to cut the, the glass. As you can see, there is also what you call a, uh, a uh, secondary uh, a cooling material that will cool the, 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 the glass while it was while it is cutted by while it is it is uh, separated by the laser machine. So the properties of glasses, there are different types of properties. We have the transparency and strength. You know? The glass has the property that makes the connection to the outer world. You know? As you can see in this uh, uh, figure, you can see that the outer part of the the room uh, looks like it's inside. You you are. Uh, connected to the outer part of the room no? by a transparent wall. No? Yeah, the, by using glass panels in the building, the building can be made opaque. No? Uh, another one, no, the one of the uh, disadvantage or the uh, disadvantage of a glass because glass is very brittle material; it can break. No, so another one is the greenhouse effect. No, so the greenhouse effect refers to the circumstances where the short wavelengths or visible light from the sun pass through the glass and, and are absorbed. No, so this is what you call the greenhouse effects when the the outside temperature you know, rises up in the inside of a particular uh, structure or vehicle when there is the the glass when they use the glass as the exterior separators. No, 
you can see that the windshield no uh, is uh, is uh, exposed to the sunlight and the pa the sunlight passes through the windshield and it creates a, a rise of temperature on the inside environment which is about about uh, 19%, so which is the outside temperature about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the inside will be about 99 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is about 10 minutes, no? in, in exactly 10 minutes, if, you are, if, you're, if your car is, is exposed to sunlight, after 10 minutes, the inside of the car will be too hot. No? It's, it's, it will be hotter than the outside environment. So this is also used in uh, creating a greenhouse effect on uh, uh, plants which are which is common in the other countries you no know, uh, because of the other countries has a cold climate and they don't want the leaves of the, the plants to freeze you no know. so they are they putting a a, uh, a greenhouse you know, so that the plants will not freeze during a weather that is very low in temperature so glass also is a, a characteristic of being workability you know. it can be blown drawn or pressed or shaped into different uh, sizes. No? It is possible to obtain glass with diversified properties, clear, colorless, diffuse, and stained. No? Glass is very recyclable. So if you, in case that there is a, then you break the glass, you can melt it again and then create, uh, form it to another, for, another type of glass. No? Um, glass is very visible transmittance. No? But visible transmittance is a fraction of visible light that comes through the glass. No? Uh, as you can see, 86% of the total sunlight can be transmitted from the glass and 90% of the total visible light can be transferred from the glass. No? So as you can see that uh, uh, in some cases that you need to uh, use the heat no, as a, uh, use the, the outside environment to heat the inside of the, the building, so, so like the greenhouse effect, no? so the glass can, uh, can uh, create those, uh, those temperatures that you want to achieve. No? So another one is you need you can create a good view no, by uh, using the glass as the uh, partitions of your building. Uh, glass also uh, expands, no? no, there is also an expansion, but very very in high only in high temperatures like 400 to 600 degrees centigrade. No? The actual value depends on the chemical constitution of the gas, the glass, no. The weathering of the glass, no, a reaction between sodium from the glass and atmospheric water and carbon dioxide can lead to the formation of sodium carbonate, which crystallizes in the fine needles. No, there is what you call a glass discoloration if, if it is exposed to, to uh, uh, what you call uh, carbon dioxide or pollutions no, or uh, other harsh uh, uh, chemicals or uh, salty waters. No? So th there will be discoloration and... Uh, Sometimes the, the glass will be eaten up by the uh, uh, environment. So, so types of glass used for glazing, you know, uh, glass plays an essential role in the facade. The facade is a special type of wall. It separates inside and from the outside. Glass is a uniform material, a solidified liquid, by its property of transparency. It opens up to our building, to the outside world. In modern architecture, there is a tendency to open up our buildings by using very large facades that are transparent as possible. In external wall, glass can be used as a curtain wall or a structural glazing. Glass is not necessarily transparent. They are available in several opacities in various textures and finishes. So, so glass can be made transparent or it can be tinted or it can you can have uh, forms that will... Uh, create a, uh, an effect no, on the glass. No? So the composition of a glass, no, glass is made from the following raw materials like sand, soda, ash, limestone, dolomite, feldspar, sodium sulfate. These substances are, de are themselves compounds of various elements. A chemical analysis shows that a flat glass is made up from the following materials used in various proportions like silica, 71 to 78%, alumina, iron oxide, calcium oxide, about 5 to 10%, magnesium oxide, sodium oxide, about 13 to 76%, and uh, potassium oxide, sulfur dioxide. As you can see, the, 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 uh, the, the content of silica in mag and uh, sodium oxide is uh, very, uh, no, very uh, what you call this, uh, uh, 
high, you know, in terms of the composition of the total composition of the glass, the silica and the, the sodium oxide. So basic types of glass, we have the float glass, sheet glass, pattern glass, and the wide glass. And we have modified varieties of glass in terms of reflective glass, insulating glass, safety glass, laminated safety glass, toughen safety glass, glass bricks, tinted glass, and other types of glass that we will explain later. So the float glass is the mostly wide use of type of glass. It's monolithic and highly transparent, produced by flowing molten glass over a bath of molten tin and slowly cooling, has uniform thickness, flatness, and excellent optical quality. So manufactured in two main varieties, we have the clear and tinted glass, no? float glass. Used in mirrors, windows, curtains, walls, and doors, float glass can be toughened, a process that creates safety glass, no? out of annealed glass. No? As you can see, the float glass, you can toughen it to make it a safety glass. It's the variable thickness about 9, 2 to 19 millimeter and be, can be colored during manufacturing. The plate glass is also called as a float glass. No? Uh, this is used in shop windows or, and doors. No? Uh, plate glass is thicker than ordinary glass. It has a very smooth surface. It is made of floating layers of molten glass over a layer of molten tin. Like, so this is what you call a plate glass or the float glass. The sheet glass, there are different types of sheet glass. We have the annealed flat glass, processed flat glass, and the miscellaneous glass. The actual, actual color is green, but sometimes it's blue. The size is available is about two, two, two millimeter up to 19 millimeter. The uses is about for windows, shelves, large doors, windows, tabletops. So these are the, this is the shield sheet glass. The pattern, the pattern glass is sometimes as, uh, referred as the figured or the rolled glass. As a pattern or texture impressed on one or both sides of the process of rolling. This glass surface has a pattern decorative design which provides translucency and some degree of obscurity. Patterns are classified as decorative or glazing used in primarily for their functions properties Uses is for decorative glazing of windows, bathroom partitions. Um, some of the disadvantage is very difficult to clean because of the crevices. The thickness is about four to six millimeter. Sizes ranges from two, two meters to 1.2 meters and 2.1 by 1.3 meters. So these are samples of the pattern glass. No? So we usually see this in our jalousies, in the in uh, in uh, churches, no, in uh, toilet partitions, no. So these are pattern glass. This is what you call pattern glass. So uh, another one is the wired glass. No? Fine twisted hexagonal wire netting or wire mesh ins inserted during the process of rolling the, the glass. No? It the, may be patterned, smooth, rolled, or ground, or polished. Used primarily in fence, effirated windows, doors, skylights, and application requiring a safety glazing material. So when broken, loose pieces of the glass are held by the wiring wire netting. So Georgian wire mesh is about 13 millimeter provided and the thickness is about five to seven millimeter. The sizes varies from 3.3 millimeter or 3.3 meters to 1.83 meters or 1,830 millimeters. So this is commonly used for fire rated doors and windows no? uh, and skylights, no? the, the wired glass. Reflective glass coating as a material compound applied on one surface by a chemical deposition reflects lights and solar heat may be applied on any type of glass and thickness upon half of the inch use uses primarily in the curtain wall glazing and structural glazing train windows doors and windows of commercial building partition and internal wall cladding. Disadvantage this is causes this causes light pollution and it is hazardous to traffic. So as you can see in the figure, no? so the reflective glass reflects the, the appearance of the exterior and ref, uh, it's like a mirror effect. No? So this, this reflective glass uh, is sometimes is commonly seen in high rise building, but other countries uh, doesn't allow this reflective glass in certain areas of the, uh, st uh, the, uh, the, or certain vicinities like on near the highways or near the major roads, they don't, they don't, uh, uh, allowed to use reflective glass because it will cre create a traffic problem and it will create light pollution. So insulating glass factory assembled unit consisting of two or more panels of glass separated by air space. So moisture proof, 
periphery of the airspace is hermetically sealed. There are two types of seals, such sealed units that we have the, <coughs> the organic seal type and the glass edge type. No? So as you can see in the, the figure, you know, the, the insulating glass, there is a space in between the two glass. No? Uh, and this is space, uh, this air space uh, will prevent the transfer of heat or, or the transfer of noise to the other side of the window or the other side of the structure. Uh, insulating glass uh, is commonly used in areas where, where your uh, uh, curtain wall uh, is exposed to the direct sunlight. You know? If it's on the east-west direction, east-west exposure, the, the panels that is exposed to the east-west direction will be, will be insulating glass panels. You know? Safety glass is developed basically for vehicular purposes, where safety from fracture of glass is major concern. Requirement for an interrupted vision out of the, the wired glass, because if you use a wired glass for, for uh, automobile, so it will, it will distract the vision you know, because of the wires. You know? So we, they invented the safety glass. Uh, and then, then there are two types of safety glass. We have the laminated safety glass and the toughened safety glass. So the laminated safety glass, so safety glass is also can also be shatterproof you know, in case that there is there is a, what you call a this can be a bulletproof safe, safe screen used for firing range you no know. it can also be a uh, uh, used for uh, armored vehicles you no know. so this is another this is the laminated safety glass you no know. it's made from a sandwich consisting of interlaid of transparent plastic material such as cellulite between two sheets of plate or sheet glass Cellulite placed between sheets already coated with gelatin and specially prepared enamel. Addition achieved by applying considerable heat and pressure. When, when one or both of the sheets composite material are broken, the glass adheres to the inner layer so that there is no danger from flying fragments. So as you can see those, the laminated glass is, uh, this one is, uh, um, this one is, this, this type of glass is the commonly used glass for the uh, bulletproofing of vehicles is this uh, laminated safety glass. So it's also used for uh, aircraft, okay, airplanes, windshields of cars. No, um, this one is the toughened safety glass. No, pieces of sheet or plate glass suspended in electric furnace until soft and then suddenly cooled by blowing air on both sides. Fragments and no cutting edges. Toughened glass with stand dead load more than four times the ordinary glass. Additional compressive strength in the safe surface makes the glass is stronger, can safely accommodate high tensile force due to pre-stress. Fracture can occur once the pre-stress has been exceeded. So this tough and safety glass is, is similar to the laminated glass, but this is more cheaper or more, this, this, uh, uh, this is used for compressive strength, compressive stress, no? uh, not impact stress. So this is compressive stress when there is a, 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 a uh, what you call a uniform load that is being uh, transferred to the glass. No? As you can see, this glass is commonly used for, uh, the toughened safety glass is commonly used for the uh, doors or, or the toilet partitions or the shower partitions, okay? So we have also the glass bricks. These are hollow bricks, glass units or black glass shaped to work as a brick, you know, joined with the help of silicone sealer to obtain seamless finish the two outer exposed surface may be smooth or textured. Glass blocks can be colored and have decorative surfaces. Glass, all glass blocks meeting fire resistance are also possible. So this can be fire rated glass block, like glass bricks. So these are samples of the glass bricks in different available patterns. Um, the, the, we can use the wave pattern. This is the common type of pattern and the crystal pattern. This is commonly seen in uh, uh, buildings of the crystal, the wave, and the clear view. You know? So we have also the tinted glass you know, or the colored glass you know, manufactured by adding a dye of, at the molten glass stage. So when, when the glass is melted, uh, it's, it's, it's in a liquid state. You, know? you put a, a dye so that it will, it will uh, create a, a specific color. You know? Uses to minimize solar heat gain and glare while it, it absorbs the heat. You know? Available in different colors, you know, gray, blue, green, blue, green, sometimes red, you know, allowed for increased control and comfort and energy uses. You know. the, the sizes available is in different thickness, up to 10 millimeter. So this is a sample of a colored glass. You know. um, as you can see, uh, you can create a variety of designs using a colored glass. You know. 
Um, it is used for decorating walls, making sunglasses, and making light signals for automobiles, trains, and airplanes. This is a sample of a, a colored, uh, a colored uh, glass, as you can see. You know? There are different shades of tints, like uh, this one. There's, there's the clear 50% tint, the 35% uh, 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 tint, and this is the 5%. Uh, uh, this is the 95% tint. This is the 50%. This is the 75% tint. So it means that only 35% of light passes through this type of tint. So the optical glass is softer than any other glass. It's clear and transparent. Potassium and lead silicates are used in making optical glass. It's also called the flint glass. The main use of the flint glass is the manufacture of lenses, prisms, and other optical instruments. So this, are, this is commonly used in microscopes, in our uh, eyeglasses, in our, uh, this is also used for uh, my, uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, binoculars. So, so these are the optical glasses. So we have also the Pyrex glass. It's highly heat resistant in ordinary glass. Silica is the main constituent. In Pyrex glass, some of the silica is replaced by baron oxide. Baron oxide expands very little when heated. The Pyrex glass does not crack in strong heating. Pyrex glass is also called the borosilicate glass. It has a high melting point and resistant to many chemicals. Laboratory equipment and ovenware are made of Pyrex glass. So this is a different type of glass, specifically for use of uh, uh, boiling or uh, putting it into extreme heat. It will not uh, melt easily, and uh, it can. It, it is the primary use is being attained by this specific type of glass. So it doesn't mean that all glass is a Pyrex glass. No? This uh, this is a specific type of glass. No? And uh, we have also the soda glass or the soda lime glass. No, this is this is the most common variety of glass. It is prepared by heating sodium bicarbonate and silica. It is used for making window panes, table wares, bottles, bulbs. No? So this is, the, this is the commonly used glass for our the everyday uh, uh, use. No? Uh, another one is the photochromatic glass. No? This is the photochromatic glass acquires a darker shades when exposed to bright light and it turns to original lighter shades in the dim light. No? This happens because silver iodide is added to the glass. Silver iodide gets colored with the intensity of light. So this, this silver iodide is the, is the one that is added to the glass liquid state. And then you can achieve this type of uh, tra uh, transformation, a photochromatic glass. So this is commonly seen on, on some of our sunglasses or some of, uh, some of the eyewears that we, that, uh, we commonly use. No? The lead crystal glass it has a high reflective index and so has the maximum brilliance. It sparkles and it is used for high quality art objects and for expensive glass wares. It is also called as the cut glass because the surface of the glass objects is often cut into decorative patterns to reflect light in order to increase the refractive index. Lead oxide is used as a flux in crystals, therefore it's called a lead crystal glass. This is commonly used in, in expensive tab, uh, table wares or expensive uh, glass wares. So applications of glass, uh, we have unlimited innovative materials. This, this is the glass and it has plenty of application. It has an essential component of numerous products and we use every day, very most often without noticing it. It is, a clear, that, it is, it is clear that modern life would not be possible without glass. Packaging like jars for foods, bottles for drinks, uh, and pharmaceuticals, tablewares, baking glasses, plates, cup, bowls, housing for buildings like windows, facade, doors. No? So these are samples of uh, glass uh, uses like these packaging materials for the sodas. And uh, this is the, for the tablewares, the glass, plates, the bowls, and then this is the housings for the facades of the building. And this can also be used for interiors, no? And uh, this can also be used for uh, electronic appliances, like the oven doors, the cooktops, the, uh, what you call the, like, like now the induction oven, it's in the induction stove, it's a cooktop made of glass, no? TV computer screens, smartphones, no? And uh, this is used uh, for automotive and transport, like for the windscreen, the backlight, the, uh, reinforced structural components of the cars, aircraft, ships, and others. 
It is also used for medical technology like biotechnology, life science, engineering, optical glass, radiation of product from protection from X-ray, radio for radiology, and gamma rays from nuclear medicine. This is also used for renewable energy, like for solar glass or the solar panels, the glass wind turbines, so, and uh, other uh, renewable energy for uses. 